Today's first impressions video is on Fantasy Jigsaw Puzzles, a very chill and relaxing game where you can do all of the cool puzzle things without all of the uncool mess like losing pieces, making a, a massive mess of your desk and just generally getting annoyed by everything that comes with doing jigsaws. As always, we'll go through the options first and then we will go into the game and we will show you all the customization that you can do, explain how the DLCs work and everything like that. Unsurprisingly here, there's not many options at all. There are a few things that I wouldn't mind seeing added and the music volume I would sort of venture is a little bit broken. It starts at 70% and it's incredibly loud. I've moved it all the way down to 30% it's still incredibly loud. It's not really changed the volume at all. And that's a problem. Um, the music's very chill and it's very relaxing, but it's so incredibly loud that it kind of ruins the experience. And that's a bit of a shame. You also get language here and then you've got your different backgrounds. Something else I would like to see added is maybe a brightness option for these different backgrounds. Um, like, I prefer the darker ones and the bright ones are very very bright like there's no real in between I would quite like this design but I would like it if I could change the, the, the brightness of it just a little bit the game doesn't need RTX and different AA and stuff it is largely static 2d images that you sort of move little pieces around but just a few sort of graphical changes wouldn't be the worst thing in the world once you've done all that you can then customize your experience for each of the different puzzle designs that you've got. Now this game is free to play and with the free to play model you get humans first and it shows you all the different kingdoms and things that humans do and the the experiences they've had and stuff. Some seem like they're from fairy tales, others from horror stories etc. And once you've settled on your image you can then choose how many pieces you want to use and the type of pieces you've got your classic puzzle piece here you've got the square and you've got the triangle i can imagine the square and triangle actually make things a little bit more difficult than you would expect and i'm a stiffler for the classics so i prefer the classic puzzle piece shape as for your dlcs the one sort of qualm i've got with them is the fact that you can't preview what it is you're about to buy outside of clicking on it and it taking you through to the DLC page. It'd be nice if they had a preview in here of the different factions that you can get and stuff. Now the good thing is that even though the game is free to play, the DLC is very, very cheap. For all of these, I think it's £11.99 if you get the complete bundle with 20% off at the minute, which is nice. Although around two to two pound twenty each with and without the sales on. So they're pretty cheap and honestly you've got a lot here to deal with on the free to play model anyway. But what's the game actually play like? How does it actually work? So we've got 210 pieces, we've got the classic puzzle piece here and as you can see it sort of muddles it all up like you would as if you just opened the box out. Now some people might want to have more puzzle pieces some people might be happy with the options they've got left i know that there are people out there that will sit and do thousand two thousand four thousand piece puzzles but honestly for the amount of room you get considering you can't actually move the board or move around and sort 210 seems about the right size some really cool features with this are that um you are not able to put the wrong piece with the wrong piece right you can't try and force this piece here into that piece there right for example these two they won't click because they don't match and that's a really nice feature it is something that i know i as a kid when i was doing puzzles kind of struggled with quite a lot i was always putting the wrong piece into the wrong piece you know it never went well the other cool thing is that the side pieces and the pieces in general are all the right way up. They don't rotate. And again, that's something that you could argue some people would probably want different if they wanted more of a challenge or, or whatever. But I think it's a nice feature that, that is a good QOL feature, right? There's, there's definitely times where 
not knowing if it's the right way up or whatever could be very, very frustrating. Some bad things about the game though, however, it doesn't save the puzzle. Or if it does, I've not been able to find it. Um, so if I come out of this here, if I hit the exit button, then I would have to start all again. And any bits that I have joined up uh, would be lost forever. When you do match a piece, it automatically clicks together and then you move that pair or that triple or whatever around the board as one whole unit, which is nice. Again, something that it takes away from the IRL experience, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, is that trying to move a long piece or whatever down to the bottom of the board and it breaks and you've got to put it all back together again is one of the most frustrating things I think I've ever, ever experienced when doing this sort of thing. So not going to get any uh, hate from me for that all in all it basically takes 90 percent of the positives of doing puzzles and removes a good 99 percent of the negatives from doing puzzles depending on how much of a challenge you want how you know realistic you want the uh, experience to be etc and i'm for it i i think this game is great i think it's fantastic it's a lot of fun it's definitely something I am enjoying. So there you have it. This is Fantasy Puzzles, Fantasy Jigsaw Puzzles. It's on Steam. It is free to play. And uh, like I said, I do have DLCs with it as well. Let me know in those comments down below what you think. And I will speak to you all next time. Ciao, ciao.